Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. This one's going to be on last minute revision items for the language exam. It's uh, the one paper. But before I just go into that, I just want to show you where all the resources are. So I've made them featured playlists. So you've got C grade responses for candidates aiming for a C, A star responses for those aiming for an A, and then a complete breakdown in detail of what each question is about uh, for the language section, what you're going to be doing, the A grade and the C grade responses compared, and then the chief examiner's comments and that's something you probably haven't come across very much some of this stuff you may have already thought about this is really really good because the chief examiner from AQA actually tells you what the um, main mistakes and most common mistakes are so you can avoid them and then we've got um, inform explain argue and persuade the section B all the questions for that uh, detailed examples etc 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 and a star uh, responses as well for you to look at so if you just use the playlist for this you're going to hopefully do well now coming to the actual notes for this video then okay so remember the most important thing for the reading is to actually pick things out that gets you half the marks and the other half the marks is explaining why it was used so for question one is you're retrieving the key points you're looking at 10 to 12 minutes you're going to follow points made in the article and the arguments and then pick out the points relevant to the question whatever you've been asked to focus on pick them out you're looking for four to six points with evidence quotation embedded now the higher grades here are going to consider other relevant angles and infer so whatever the arguments are you look at different angles of the argument Arguments as well and add them so that inference there is really really important and you look at other relevant angles question two then and question two the skill we're looking for is analyzing and linking items in the presentational pieces so we'll be looking at the headline of the picture and then linking them to the article some way so you'll be looking at the presentational devices and the layout and you're thinking there of font color placement picture headline captions puffs etc 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 and you're going to comment on how pictures are relevant to the text Again, you're looking for four to six points, uh, two and two or three and three. Uh, well, I've split that up there because that's going to be maybe two and two from the headline and three and three from the picture of the article, depending on how you want to break it down. But you have to have your points with evidence and reference. So of the four to six, remember, half of it's going to be focused on the headline and the subheading, and the other half is going to be uh, focused on the uh, picture. So make sure you've got that balance in between. Don't just write about one or the other because the question will always ask you about both. And for higher grades, Grades, people are looking for higher grades in this one, you're going to be looking at multiple meanings. So when you say the picture represents this, say then it could also refer to and it also does this. So talk about the multiple layers that are coming across because that is more perceptive. So the question three then, now we've got to try and understand what's implied. This is the inference question, pure inference. So you need to get under what they say to find out what they mean. Basically, you've probably heard the phrase we've thought before, read between the lines. So you need to tell us what's going on, even though it might seem sometimes obvious to you, but you've got to link that to whatever you're being asked about. If it's the feelings or the emotions or the, or the, or the drama, etc., etc., you've got to show why it's dramatic. Um, explain what you pick up on so things like moods the feelings the intention etc and discuss where the reader's focus is being directed to so there might be something repeated or something might change in tone or essence and that's going to be what you what you focus on and you say yes i understand that the writer has done this that or the other do not say how you feel okay so if you think just something's good or something's powerful that's not what you're being asked to ex explain you're being asked to actually explain what is going on in terms of being implied so make, don't, please don't make that mis uh, mistake and with the higher grade for this one then you're looking for depth and perception in any of your points so if you say it shows you know this clearly shows that the strain and the fear that they're under worrying about not being able to get back to base you can also add to the fact that you say like and also will be playing on his mind the fact that they've got limited supplies even when they got back there you you, you just emphasize more and more that would be something for like feelings or the mood of the main character so you always add uh, maybe a secondary point or a tertiary point to um, develop your points and, and show a lot more perception of anything you're doing now this question is the hardest one question four this is you're going to spend the most time in it 20 to 24 minutes and you're going to compare language use so basically what you need to do is point out what is similar or different in the language of the text and their effect so that's both of them so it's not just whether they use the same words it may be if they do different or similar things for different effects so you'll be talking about the language style maybe it's humorous maybe dramatic maybe formal maybe warning etc etc you'll be looking at whether it's formal or informal You'll be looking at what literary techniques are used. You'll be thinking about who it's aimed at. 
and you want to get three points for each source so when you're comparing them both you pick out three from source one for example and then three from source two and you'll be looking to play them off each other and you'll be looking at the use as well of facts and opinions so all of that together if you just focused on remembering those things the style the formality the techniques you can add specific words to that as well who it's aimed at and the use of facts and opinions that's going to be more than enough for your three paragraphs but just make sure you're comparing them now you answer this one like an essay okay so what you need to be able to do is give yourself a really brief introduction just to set yourself up uh, where you sum up your whole points and then with the conclusion you can just say you know sum up again why they're powerful but what you want to be able to do is try and lay it out in a way that cross references. Now the higher grade ones are gonna compare in the same paragraph or in the following paragraph. So for example, paragraph one might be a comparison of um, language style. Paragraph two might be a comparison of literary techniques. Parison th um, sorry, paragraph three might be a list of facts and opinions. So A, B, A, B, A, B. The other way to do it is write six paragraphs. Um, paragraph one is all about say language in A and then paragraph two is all about language in B paragraph uh, three would be all about literary techniques in A and paragraph four would be all about literary techniques in B. This is what I've referred to before as the tennising technique, moving back between one and the other. This is better and more complex and gets you higher grades than doing it the other way, just talking all about poem A and then just talking all about poem B in the second half of your essay. So make sure you set yourself up paragraph about source one and you do a PE and then you mention similarity or difference to source B and then you give a PE and then you do it the other way around. So it's paragraph two, sorry, not do it the other way around, you just repeat that all the way through. Paragraph two, talk about source A, PE, similar and difference, source B, PE. So that's the basics of all of those. Remember to look over the timings for each and stick to them. Even if you even if you think you could write, you know, 20 minutes worth for this question, it's not worth it because it's better you spend the time here because that's worth 16 marks, whereas all the rest are worth eight.